This episode of The Young Turks brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook at audiblepodcast.com slash TYT. Uh, researchers at UC San Diego found this online bug that up to 485 websites are using to basically track down your browsing history. Okay, and these aren't just random websites. The websites include PerezHilton.com, YouPorn. Disaster. <laughs> <laughs> and several what? other very what? popular websites. Uh-huh. Okay, and I hear. Okay. And look, what's interesting about this is it's not just porn sites. As I mentioned, PerezHilton.com uh, is one of them. Wired.com is another one of them. And the reason why they're tracking down your browsing history is to find ads that are targeted toward you. Okay. This is terrible. Okay. So in the regular world, like in the world of like uh, non-porn, right? Uh, they're going to try to get the ads, oh, you were on Pepsi's website, although that would never happen. <laughs> okay, And then so they're going to direct a Pepsi ad towards you. To just give you an easy example. In the porn world, they do it based on your fetish. Mm -hmm. So if you were on uh, midget.com before, <laughs> okay, you porn is going to throw more midget ads at you, so you're like, oh, geez, I'm Lord Mercy. right? And you buy the midget porn that they're selling. Uh, but I cannot imagine a worse invasion of your privacy. No, it really is a, a terrible invasion of your privacy because, look, it's not like they look at this information and then yeah, yeah okay let's let's find ads that are targeted toward this individual some of these websites are actually recording this information right yeah. so specific ip address browsing history yep how scary is that though because if they can identify you through your brow through your ip address and then look at your browsing oh hell no but no. okay let's finish the equation i i agree but then what are they going to do well, look, if YouPorn ever runs into any legal trouble and they can't do YouPorn anymore, well, they could run a hell of a bribery business, right? I mean, ransom, whatever you want to call it, right? Blackmail business. And they'd be like, all right, IP address number 382. Now, these are the porn sites you watched. We could tell your family and we could tell your workers or you can pay us X amount. Now, but I don't think that's really going to happen. But what is definitely going to happen, and I want everybody to get ready for it, is... Uh, everybody will know the porn you watch. No, absolutely. No, Jenk is 100% right. Because think about it. Perez Hilton is one of the websites that does this. How does Perez Hilton capitalize? Okay? By outing celebrities, whatever drama they're involved in, whatever is going on in their lives. If he can track a celebrity's IP address and check out the browsing information. Yeah, think and about it. And you know it. that celebrities are going to PerezHilton.com to see what he's writing about them. All of a sudden, we know what, I don't know, uh, David Duchovny's looking at. No, no. It's Look, the thing is, if you're at home and you're an accountant or you're a dentist, you, you don't have to worry about it. Perez or YouPorn is going to chase you down. Just go ahead and have at it at midget.com, okay? Uh, but if you're in any way a public figure, oh. You're done. You're done. We're going to find out uh, the porn that Larry King's been watching, you know, in a matter of seconds. But l luckily for Larry, he still hasn't figured out the internets, so he's safe, okay? But everybody else, it's watch, watch, two to five years, you're going to boom, 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 boom. The, all these stories are going to pop up about all the celebrities and all the politicians and all the porn they've been watching. Because, look, a friend of mine I was at breakfast with today it knows a guy who's an incredible web designer guy, can hack anything. Mm -hmm. He said, oh, you know what? You uh, Here, let me just get something out of your computer. He's like, what do you mean get something out of your My computer isn't even here. He's like, I'll just access it. He doesn't know a thing about his computer. He doesn't know any access information, anything. And he hacked into his computer in one and a half seconds. Okay? Now, so forget the trackers. You got guys like that out there. You think they're not going to break into, you know, Britney Spears' computer and, and et cetera, et cetera? Okay? I'm lowering it. Not two years to five years. Six months to two years. Boom, boom, boom. All these embarrassing things are going to come out to the point where we might get to a world which might be not a bad thing, like a WikiLeaks world, full transparency where everybody's like, all right, I guess everybody watches freaky porn. Right. Okay, now, now let's just get beyond. It. Now, there are ways that you can protect yourself, and I want to make sure that I clarify the, this part of the story. So it all depends on what kind of browser you're using as well. So if you're using Internet Explorer, you're much more prone to have your privacy hacked into. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if you're using Safari, which is on most Macs, or if you're using Chrome, Google Chrome, which is on, I think, Vista, uh, the new software on most new PCs, you're fine. Okay, mm -hmm. it has a way to protect you against that. 
Yeah. Okay. Look, look. If you're savvy with computers, you're going to figure out a way to at least improve your chances that they don't hack the living crap out of you, right? But for us old school folks who are like, what is a browser? Now, look, I mean, look, we set up the first internet website. It's not like we don't know. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how to. It's, they say, oh, if you're on Internet Explorer, it's okay. You can go to this function and that function and Jim Jablowski it. <laughs> I got no chance, man. I got, uh, we got to bring Edwin to my house to fix the computers. I mean, come on. Edwin's our intern here. He's the computer genius. He is a computer genius. Okay, yeah. but I, you know, he could probably hack into your computer and we could find it. Hey, wait a minute. By the way, how shady is Perez Hilton for doing that? That he, shiz. Yeah, he's super shady. But I just had an idea. What? Okay. Why would we want to hack into your computer? But Republican politicians. Yeah. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. <laughs> Let's not even go down that road. Anna, we got a new sponsor, Audible.com. Go. I love Audible.com because they have over 75,000 titles to choose from, and you can download on both your iPod or your MP3 player. They're actually the largest provider of downloadable digital audiobooks, so you can choose any book you like. And if you go through us, you actually get a free audiobook of your choice, which is a pretty good deal. So go to audiblepodcast.com slash TYT.